Hello guys, from this video I am starting a new video series on ASP.NET. So what is ASP.NET? ASP.NET is a server-side web application framework which was developed by Microsoft and which allows the programmer to make a dynamic website, web services or web application. And if you want more uh, details about what ASP.NET can do, you can always go to www.asp.net. Here you can find lots of information about ASP.NET. Now for developing ASP.NET, you definitely want a tool on which you can develop your ASP.NET framework or application. So we use Visual Studio for developing our uh, C-sharp or .NET based application which is also from Microsoft and Visual Studio in itself is a uh, expensive uh, IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment but they also provide the free version of Visual Studio with the name of Visual Studio Express. So when you write in your search engine or on your browser Visual Studio Express, the first link you will see here is Visual Studio Express and when you go inside that you will be able to download the free edition of Visual Studio. Now what uh, version of uh, Visual Studio we want is this Visual Studio Express whatever is the latest version it will come here and we want the Visual Studio Express for web develop development so just click it and choose your language and just install your Visual Studio Express okay and it's very easy to install it just a few clicks and you will be able to install Visual Studio Express on your system now once you have installed Visual Studio on your system you can just go to your start button and just click it and open Visual Studio okay and once it's open we can make a new project or new website using ASP.NET inside this Visual Studio IDE so what we can do is we go to this file here and we say new and you can choose either of them you can choose a project or you can choose simply a website if you want to make a website using ASP.NET so I'm going to choose this uh, website from here and it will open a uh, file dialog which is which will ask you what kind of uh, website do you want to develop in here you have two options for uh, making your ASP.NET framework website either you can make it with Visual Basic and I, or you can make it with Visual C Sharp I'm going to use Visual C Sharp and the first option I will choose here is visual.net website okay and here you can also give the name of your web website from here so for example I will write here my website okay and then in here you can also choose a uh, file or folder wherever you want to save your project so I will leave it as default and I will click OK and once you click OK it will generate all the files which are required by your ASP.NET project and it will generate a few files here you will see here in the solution explorer you have uh, some files which is for example I will open a file from here 
default dot ax px. So this is the code which is automatically generated by your ASP.NET project and it creates a lot of uh, content when you create your project. It has about page, it has default page and you have this environment and in here you will be able to see three tabs and right now we are in source tab and when you click here design tab you will be able to see the front end of your website so by default it generates a sample a website for you which you can uh, then edit and make custom website according to you, yourself and it has automatically generated this home tab and about tab for you which are there also in your solution now by the way solution and project I haven't explained you a solution is a system in which you can create number of projects so a solution is basically a container for a project in solution you can make different project and the project is your actual project which you have made okay and the solution have the extension when you right click your solution and you go to open folders in windows explorer you see your solution is here and it has some extension so your solution has extension for example I will right click and go to the property and my solution has extension dot sln okay and when you have this solution you can also have uh, this project and this project has the extension when you right click and go to open in Solution Explorer, you have the project here also, full project. Okay, now I have explained you what is this design, this source, and you can also see both of them at the same time your source code and your design view. When you click the split, it will show you the source code and whatever is the outcome of your source code in the form of design you will be able to see here now i have by default the the solution explorer open this property explorer open and this toolbox open and if you are not able to see these uh, perspectives in your visual studio ide you can always go to visual view and you can open solution explorer from here you can open your toolbox here which is this toolbox and your solution explorer is this if you can't see this X solution explorer you can just go here and open here these perspectives from here okay and you can also you can also move this according to yourself wherever you want to have this on your uh, Visual Studio you can just drag and drop and just move there okay so like this and I can move this property like this okay now by default because we have created our project in uh, C sharp you have the file extension default.aspx.cs this is the code behind file in which we are going to write our C sharp code so this is the front end which contains HTML and CSS content and there is one more file called .cs file so when I click this .cs file it has its own code so this code we are going to use for writing our c-sharp 
code. So when we need to write our C-sharp code, so for example, I have this default ASPX code and I'm in the design mode and I will go to the toolbox and for example, I will take a button and drag and drop into my application. Now this button has its own properties. So when you select this button, you have its text. You can click this. Uh, or, yeah, you can click this button and go to the properties. And here you will be able to see all the properties of this button. You can change the text of this button. For example, click me, or uh, and you can also change the ID of this button. For example, click B1 for button 1. And when you change this here, click underscore B1. And then you, when you go to your default ASPX.CS application, here you will be able to write the code for this button action perform. Now whenever you drag and drop this button, where is the code generated for this button itself? By default it will not generate the code for the button in here. It will just, you will be able to write the action perform methods and events in this code, in this default code. And in here, you will be uh, able to see all the global ASPX content. So this is the application content here. And when you click this default ASPX file, you will be able to see a button. And we have changed our button ID as click underscore ID underscore uh, B1, I beg, of, beg your pardon. And this is the text we have changed for our button. So this will come here. It will generate the ID for the button and it will generate the text for bu the button as we have changed the button properties from our property explorer. Okay, so this is done and it will by default also generate a site.css file which is a style uh, file cascaded style sheet the full form of css is cascaded style sheet which is a styling uh, code for your website and it, it will also generate some of the javascript and jquery stuff which will we, we will see in detail in the later videos and it has some HTML tags. So by default, it will generate a lot of code if you have, a, if you create your project. And uh, now, for example, when we run our program as it is, we haven't changed anything to our code apart from, uh, apart from changing the button name and dragging and dropping the button. And I will click OK and it will show the solution or it will run your solution in your default browser. So for example, uh, Google Chrome is your default browser. It will run your application. This is a project we have created and it has home window which is this. And this is the button we have created here. Click me. It's not doing anything because we haven't provided any functionality to it. And it has this about tab. And it also have by default this login. But we will provide more functionality to our project in the later videos. So this was the project it has generated for you. And for now, I will, I think this is all and in the next video I will show you how to add some more functionality to your site how to make a dynamic um, web pages and all the other things so 
So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.